Hello, Ector Sage here on the Sage channel. I sleep, art game, and eat. And today I'm going to be crashing well, the two ships you see in front of me into each other, as well as the ship I'm currently in now. And that ship would be my older cargo craft that I built a few days ago, actually probably a week ago now. And I'll, uh, I'm reversing it fairly slowly. I'm going to reverse it a bit more than this, make sure I get a whole lot of speed. I'm going to crash it into the one ship in front of me and then... Depending on how things go, then probably try to crash that one into the other ship. So, we'll see how that goes. Let me just cut ahead until I'm far enough back. Alrighty, that should be far enough back. So, let's turn our inertial dampener, stop the ship, and give it full throttle, and uh, see how this crash goes. Alrighty, looks like we couldn't get up to maximum speed, but we got a decent amount of speed. So, this should be a pretty interesting impact here. Hopefully, it'll be worth watching. Oh good, and we actually, oh, okay, well, the cockpit was at the front of the ship, so that was destroyed. Well, I needed, uh, I needed, to, oh, I've panicked here and done, like, 20 wrong buttons. There, jetpack's on. And it looks like the ship has pushed itself more than past the halfway point of the larger ship. And impacted on through that pretty well. Our frame rate has dropped a fair bit here. Wow. Okay, looks like all the ships are spurging up, but uh, there we go, looks like they calmed down. Whew. Yeah, I guess I forgot my cockpit was right at the very front of that ship. Should have uh, maybe jumped out of the ship just to watch the crash. Pretty interesting though, nice impact point there. Let's actually... I like the way this light is actually shining on that, that's pretty cool. Um, sorry, minor distraction. Let me post down another one of... Oh. Oh, bummer. I thought I had another copy of this ship. Let's just get rid of this then. And we can see our damage here was... Well, it took out two of the large storage containers, actually. Uh, yeah, two of the large storage containers, left and right sides. Let's post down the ship we just deleted and see how much damage was done to it. Its engine section, of course, is going to be completely fine. Let's, uh, there we go. Post it. And it was... Yeah. We lost the bridge completely. Looks like one of the little bridge quarter rooms was annihilated. Uh, the other ones looked like they were probably compromised. Yep, they were definitely compromised. So that's uh, pretty much everybody dead from the front of the ship. The rest of it's perfectly fine though, from the looks of it. Let's really quickly just delete you again, and we're going to toss it at it. This way we can have another impact, but one we'll actually be able to see. And this time, I think I'll get us up to a nice full proper speed and then release it. Alrighty, so here we go. This should be a decent speed when I release it, and we'll have a nice impact. I think I'll release it right now. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it impacted almost right away. I thought we had a little bit more space between us and it. And that looks like that's about it. I don't think we're going to get much more out of it. That footage there was probably accelerated a bit, just so uh, you didn't have to wait three months while it impacted. Unfortunately, I don't think it's actually done too much. Let's once again just go ahead and delete this ship. And wow, as soon as I delete it, you're seeing some wreckage probably start to fly loose. I saw some there, and actually even some down there, which I don't understand. And yeah, I got some stuff flying loose. That was a much more damaging impact to these silos, actually, from the looks of it. That even broke into the engine area. We got a stairwell bit here floating free. That actually must be from the other ship that we just impacted into because there are no stairwell blocks on the back of this large car cargo carrier. Wow. Alrighty then. And you can see how much this whole ship was actually moved from looking at the wreckage over there. Pretty notable impact, truth be told. Anyway, now let's go ahead and back this big ship up. I think it still has enough reactors to keep moving and go ahead and crash it into its own brethren. Alrighty, and I actually think this should be far enough, because this ship has a lot more power than the other one. So we'll stop here, and now you're seeing some wreckage at the back probably floating about and causing some trouble. We might end up seeing a bit more, but I think this should be good. This ship has so many engines, we should be able to get up to a decent speed pretty damn quick. And the front of this ship actually has its cockpit stuck back a bit more than the other one, so we shouldn't instantly be taken out. In fact, if I hit this right, we might not even... Uh oh no. Oh, I hit a lot lower than I thought. Oh, so much for that. Oh, noes. Okay. Let's just stay calm. Stay calm. Stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. And, oh my god, what the heck is going on? Okay. That's all sorts of crazy. 
Okay, well, my collision, or my connection meshes on those control panels are a bit weird. Clearly they were sticking together in a way they shouldn't have been. Um, right, okay. Okay, we're good. I can figure out where we are now. Okay, so, I was wrong. The cockpit was completely annihilated. In fact, it looks like the entire living area of this ship was completely annihilated, or at least breached. Um, wow, okay. Jesus Christ, this is pretty bad. And it looks like we're still taking some damage here. I need to get out of the ship to really inspect it. And I see my way out right over there. Do you see it? Space. Um, let's see if I can fit through this gap. Uh, looks like I might not be able to. Damn. Yeah, it's fairly confusing looking. Somehow I got pushed all the way back here when I'm seeing the cockpit over there. Or what's left of it. Damn. I really should have put the cockpit somewhere else just for that crash. That way we could have seen it a bit better instead of those first person view. Let me, uh, bumble my way out of this ship really quickly. Alrighty, so there we go, got out of it. Uh, yeah, front of the ship. Not the best state ever. Um, this ship is taking some hits. Let's just really quickly copy and paste our perfectly fine version of the ship. That way we can have that as a backup. So I can toss one of those and we can see it from the exterior view. And now let's move this back by deleting it and placing it. And you can see some of the wreckage that was still inside of it that we have been dragging along. And we'll paste this right over here. And for some reason, it's wanting to paste on the other side of me. But there we go. And you can see the damage already is pretty notable. The front of it, all the way up and down the ship, was breached. It looks like one of the large barracks areas down at the bottom were completely, was completely ripped open. It looks like every single floor, with maybe the exception of one right here... Nope, it's been ripped open. Yeah, every single floor has been depressurized. Uh... Yeah, it looks like this ship is would be a complete and utter loss. I'd say everything was lost. I don't think if, at least the, the civilian-wise or crew-wise, everyone would be dead with the exception of maybe one room right here, and maybe another room or two, yeah, way back there. But for the most part, uh, yeah, you'd be looking at a pretty dead crew. It looks like maybe one other large barrack room in there might be fine, but of course they'd all die if they opened that door. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that uh, didn't go well for the crew of this ship, but a lot worse than I actually expected. Luckily the cargo would still be there, so that's all the company would care about, right? Anyway, now let's go ahead and just toss one of these into it. So let's delete this and copy this again. And now we'll toss this nice big one into its brother uh, from the other side. Actually, down like this would probably work fine. Let's do that. Oh, there we go. It looks like the crash is mostly over. Again, I sped up the footage there. That way you don't have to wait a month to see everything that happened. And um, let's just hover over first to the other side of the ship. The engine section here looks like it pr at the very end got crushed pretty badly. Let's hover about... Overall, this ship at the bottom, though, looks like most of its damage was, of course, to the top area. Meaning... Now, actually, no, it looks like we lost three cargo containers, at least depressurized them. The cargo could still be stuck in there safe and sound. The entire main hallway, the strategic flaw of the ship, can be compromised with one breach, but there's no way to easily close off the whole huge hallway. So this whole thing's been depressurized, or would be if there was pressurization in the game currently. Uh, the engine compartment on the big ship, though, it took, or the top ship that did the colliding, We've lost, looks like, half of our up and down thrusters and a fair few other ones. Let's, let's just buzz about here and see what other mayhem might have happened. That's, yeah, the bottom ship didn't fare too badly. Wow, looks like maybe it fared worse than I thought. There's more damage over here, more compromised storage areas. One of the airlocks has been breached right there. Looks like the civilian living area and the main hallways at the front, though, are all intact, so... Everyone on board the ship, as long as they weren't walking down that main hallway or in one of the storage containers at the time of impact, would have been fine. Hmm, and even this engine area took a hit. That must have been for my first impact when this one got torn open. 
Let's fly around and now look at the top ship, because I think it hit and bounced back up. And I'm expecting some more damage here. Let's see... Yep, it has pretty notable impact to this area, as we already said. And then, looks like three cargo containers compromised. It actually looks like it fared far better than the one on the bottom. Even if its engines are damaged, so let's just move it so we can get another better look at it. There we go. And, yeah, it fared much better, I'd say. Much, much better. Anyway, I got one last thing to show you guys, and then uh, I think that'll be about it for this. Alrighty, so here we go. This is that one last thing I wanted to do. And uh, as you can see, I'm equipping a weapon. I had a bomb there. You can see the bomb there at the front. And, uh, yeah, the ship's full of explosions, explosives now, and soon to be explosions. Uh, hope you enjoy this. Yeah, that went up quick. That went up really quick. And not much left of the ship. Of course, the whole ship was made out of light armor, so, uh, yeah, that happens. And I didn't really fill out the back part. Silly me. Yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Um.